and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. When we last left off Holland, um, <laughs> it was sort of like uh, the Vikings were invading. Um, and we've been building up a nice cash reserve right here um, to do stuff with. Uh, Hubert came of age. Um, he is married to Iofa. And, um, hopefully he is, hopefully, uh, we will get an heir from that also. Um, East Francia and West Francia have combined together, and the current liege of West Francia, who used to be the king of East Francia, is incapable, so chances are he is probably going to be He's probably going to be passing away pretty soon, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. <coughs> uh, anyway, um, there is an East Francian revolt going on, apparently, and that's that guy. Uh, and then the fight with Lombardy over uh, Cremona. Uh, still going on, so let's let's keep this going, and we'll go double speed, and we're gonna try to figure out where this guy is going. Um, so we gotta get ready to. Uh, oh, that's um, this is uh, a Wessex fleet. Um. So that is uh, an ally, I think, of East Francia. Uh, it's one of their allies. So, so anyway, we'll, we'll hold up for right now. Uh, this is Bruges, this is the county of Porto. This guy is just a straight old county. Um, oh, pause. Friedland. Uh, I'm not too worried about us Friedland, but right now, if I right click on this guy, I can actually declare war on him. Because crown laws allow vassals to wage war on each other. Uh, let me just take a look at this guy. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of troops. Let's see his allies. Um, the Count of So I can I can expect a little bit of troops from this guy, but that's pretty much about it. I really don't think this guy's fielding a ton of armies either. Yeah, so okay. So, um okay, so let's take back Brabant. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now let's raise some armies. Fantastical. Okay. Now these guys are fighting and winning. Which is very nice. I certainly hope that these guys aren't going to show up. Because I will crush them too, if need be. Oh, yeah, he brought in you. So we will march these guys to Ghent. 
complete the crushing of these guys. Okay. And then I'm just going to hide to brave it. And I will siege. Okay, so uh, so that's very cool. So after we take care of Bravent, maybe we'll take care of Bruges too. Let's take a look at that one. That's this guy. He's a slightly bigger guy, and oh, he has a lot of guys. A bunch of counts and a duke. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky. We can call in allies. Oh! Hmm, how interesting. Well, let's send the gift to you. And increase your... your opinion of me for right now. Because I'm probably going to need you in a little bit. Because if we take on that guy, we're going to need as many allies as we can get. Oh, we can also can't call on the count. Oh, it's this guy. too far away. He has to run all the way up on the end. Okay, well, we can send a gift to this guy, too, and make him love us. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We are preparing for the Bruges fight, basically. So now, with that being the case, let's uh, change the council to fabricate some claims in gallery. Um, this guy is probably going to gallery or to sticked. <laughs> yeah. How many troops are in Bravent? Split this army in half, and these guys will push up into here. Okay, we, we've lost a little bit of gold doing the little bribes. Oh, how about that? There you go, Jacob. Okay, he's fulfilled. Jacob is a fine name. And then we need another ambition. Oh, how about a daughter? Okay, those guys are heading out. These guys are coming in.
this guy's going to try to come in here to retake the Bravent one, or he's just going to attack these little guys over here, because he can. Actually, he's heading back here to take on these guys. Just breathing, 100%. Tower for peace. Yay! Okay. So now, let's disband these guys. Oops! To the enemy presence. Yeah, so... Let's cancel it, and now let's disband. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that worked out very well. We got Braven now. And the cool part is, this guy, this guy basically, uh, like, I just took over, I vassalized him, basically. Um, I didn't take the territory as my own, I just made him my vassal. Which means he's not really terribly happy with me right now. Because he, you know, I declared war on him, but uh, let's give him an honorary title. Let's give him Cupbearer, because that's 15. There we go. That should help out a little bit. Okay. Oh, now we have to raise an army just to go take this guy on. And then um, what we'll do is we'll consider an attack on Bruges. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was this. Ah, you charged fearlessly on horseback. Songs will be sung of this day. Is called to arms against Hippobald of the Breton Revolt. Oh shoot, I'll accept that one. The Breton Revolt. Oh, there we go. Let's march these guys over there. Wait. Let's not. Let's march these guys into Yiprin, and we will raise our fleet levies. Now, do I have any more fleet levies that we can raise? That's one that's not really helpful. There's none there. There's one there, jeez. About here, one there. There's none there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So 
So let's uh, we'll move the fleet off to here. And for these guys, I'm going to split this army and take out the leash that is. How much do we got left? Ugh. Okay, let's uh, let's select these guys. And these guys are going to go to Breda. Or Ghent is fine. Disband these guys because they're levies. Okay. Now let me take a look at this unit here. Ugh. Really? It's 892 and 61. Okay, so we are going to need one of these guys. And, uh, what is it? Breda? Let's go with these two, and we'll move them to get room two. Okay, so it's going to give us 900 guys to work with. These guys, these guys, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, just going to put back. Whoa. Whoa! This guy, my cousin, wants to kill my son. That's not good. Uh, he's currently considering another offer from us. Yeah, that's right. He certainly is, isn't he? So we're going to take this fleet and stick it together. Each ship can carry 100 guys. Oh. The charlatan is known to me. He cannot be trusted. I'll send the architect away. Okay, so these guys... We're going to load onto the boat. That's the Embark Army. Okay, so now they're on the boat. And then basically, we're going to bring them here. Okay, so now I need a new guy. Okay, let's pause just for a second. I got to appoint a new chancellor. So, Chancellor 14. Let's pick this guy right here. Um, and he's going to help me fabricate claims in Galray. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the first thing. The second thing is I want to check the... Okay, the plot is gone. I do have two prisoners from Brabant. So I think I'm going to ransom them. I can't ransom the other one. Because they're already considering another offer for ransom. So, okay, let's keep going. Okay, these guys are headed here. Okay, so now I'm going to grab these guys. I'm going to click on this for the army, and then I'm going to move them into here. Uh, next, I'm going to go back to the Intrigue, and I'm going to ransom off this other one for 10 gold. Oh, and we're auto-saving. Okay, now take this army and move these guys in here. And now our allies are coming with us. We had better win this fight. <laughs> okay, and they're attacking here, so we're sieging here. Eh, yeah, 
I move back over here. So we're moving these two armies together to join them up to take these guys on. Normally when you float fleets, they get kind of expensive, but so far it's not too, too bad. Uh, here's this guy, and I'm willing to bet, oh, the Battle of St. Paul de Leon was really bad for us. Negative 75%, wow. I'm afraid that someone might want to hurt me without hiring, uh, no, food, two food tasters, and maybe a bodyguard. So I either get a 45% chance to be paranoid, or I get a 45% chance of trusting. So paranoid gives me two intrigue, negative one diplomacy. Trusting gives me negative two intrigue, plus one diplomacy. I think I'm going to go this way. So let's open him up. Ah, we didn't get paranoid. Ah, and we caught these guys too. And here comes the West France again. Army. Okay, so, let me pause just for a second.
intrigue. There's no known plots. He's not a plot maker. He's not a faction guy. He did something. Oh, Prince Sinifredo. Hmm, I don't know. Thebalt of West Francia. This guy. This is the guy who's incapable, so it must be his regent. There's a uh, McCurl even in low morals. He promises to keep this to himself if I promise to stay out of all factions. <coughs> if I promise to stay out of all factions. Um, <clears throat> wow. I'll stay out of factions. That's fine. Alright. How are we doing over here? I did not win, I felt many lessons were learned. So I gained one martial skill, that's pretty good. So now it's up to eight, which is actually pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so... such a bad idea. Uh, let's pause just for a second. <coughs> the Duke of Lower Lorraine is in, uh, he's in Middle France here. That's not really helpful. going to get any, we're not going to get an alliance from this marriage anyway. So let's, um, well how about the Duke of Lower Lane? <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, okay, we'll just keep going. And the next thing we're gonna do thing we're going to do is, uh, let's see how we're doing over here. Okay. So we have... <laughs> Yeah, see, now that, yeah, that bottom percentage of Duke Arnold of Britain controls Britain is increasing. So, so there's Ghent getting attacked, and we'll come in like this, swoop in and try to get them. Actually, just go down here, because it's easier to attack them from land. If I try to, try to attack them from sea, they'll leave before I can actually get there. Okay. So that's the 18th. Yeah, it's still not going to make a difference. Okay, 152, I can... <coughs> Disband those guys. Oh, I think we took over the second one too. So now we're at plus 74%. So I think we're going to finish up this war pretty quick. And then we have to take stock of where we are. Well, I'll tell you where we are. We've got 811 gold. That's a terrific amount of money. Okay, we won. Let's get our guys back onto our ship. <coughs> we'll float the ship back. We'll dock them back in Holland. Or actually wherever. And then, um... <coughs> and then we'll disband them. So, we're actually going to disband these guys too. Okay, let me go into military, and I'm just going to go, boom, I'm just going to disband all these guys. And uh, for the fleets, I'm going to disband these guys, too. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Now, if I take a look at military, um, I got 2577 out of 3540. One, so I think I want to let that grow a little bit. <clears throat> Except that the Vikings are going to continue attacking, just because that's what they do. Alright. This guy. This guy's got seven hours. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Once we're done here. Oh, yeah. 
this. <clears throat> I will personally compensate. That's fine. Okay, I don't have to worry about Cleave. I do have to worry about Breda. Once we're done clearing this guy out, I think it will be time to attack Burge. And the reason why I can say that is because I can hire a ton of mercenaries if I need to. Like 3,500 guys for mercenaries. This guy's heading to the Strait of Dover, and he's moving on, okay. So I'm going to disband these guys, and then uh, we're going to pause right here, and then we're going to go to here, and to this guy, and we're going to see about declaring a war on him. Can we declare war on him? Sure we can. claim on Bruges. <clears throat> and I basically count Rickar becomes my becomes my vassal as opposed to this guy's vassal. So um, let's send that. Now he's gonna call in a whole ton of allies. And that's fine. So I'm just gonna raise all of my troops. Heading, heading to Yibrin to try to intercept these guys. Oh, hold on, let's call our allies. Well, that guy is not going to call. Let's send for this guy. Let's send for this guy. Um. Thirty-eight is not going to be enough. Um, but the other thing I want to do. I'm going to go into the military, and I'm going to go into mercenaries, and we're going to hire some mercenaries to help us out. These guys, we're going to put them all together and we're going to move them into here. And the other thing that we're going to want to do... Oh, Fantastico. Uh, we're going to try to beat the crap out of these guys too. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah, we want to get to these guys pretty quickly. Edward of Burgundy. What is this guy doing exactly? Oh, okay. Burgundy in war for Chief Louis' claim on Sentong. Wow, okay. Alright. Oh. Is a French noble. sure that one's going to work. The, um, These guys should be spectacular fighters. I paid enough for them, so. Yeah. So they're gonna chew these guys up. Those guys are headed for tours. And we're gonna follow them.
obviously these guys are going to come in to take on these guys. Okay, we got 272. We're spending a lot on the mercenaries. I think we're probably going to disband these guys. Okay, so let's pause just for a second. I'm going to deal with this right now. in another court. I think I don't want to auto stop plots anymore. We'll let them run their course. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I don't think Duke Abram is going to be holding on to his holdings for very much longer. So we're at seventy-five percent. We're looking to get the sieges here and here, and I think that should probably do it. Oh, let's take Jacob out of hiding. I'm really wondering what this guy did. But, oh, that's it. That's one hundred percent. Let's pause. Let's go. So, we, uh, we have taken back Bruges and Hanot, or no, Bruges and Brabant, I should say. So, here's Bruges, I just want to check something. Yep. Heir to the County of Bruges. Go to your brain too. How does that sound? Oh, uh, I think you were a little late on that one. Oh no, you're still gonna be fine. Because it takes forever. Oh, let's head up to Friesland now.
This guy is still incapable and still alive. I just don't get it. <laughs> He's in like the world's longest coma here. It was weird though that both of those kings became incapable. These guys coming in to attack on this way. Oh, good. This guy's now my prisoner. Fantastico. See, when you capture people, it's great because then you can ransom them for gold. Okay, I don't have any more duple claims, but hopefully I will be able to take over Gallery and Ostfriedland in the future. Of Holland? Really? Okay, I'm going to disband these guys. Because it looks like... Whoops. Looks like these guys are going to get munched by those guys, so let's disband some of them. Okay. Okay, one of the things I want to do is look at factions. There's an independence faction right here, and there's a Prince Carloman for East Francia faction. Going to Friesland or something. Now he just changed his mind. Maybe he's going to Galway or to Sticked. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Quite possible. Confront her. Confront him. Or focus on more important things. Let's confront him. See what happens. Pay to have them both watched. It's twenty percent chance I get depressed, or ten percent chance I get paranoid. I'll pay to have them both watched. In Holland, really. This is going to be like an upbringer. There we go. I don't even know why they try doing that. I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, so now that we picked up these two, we still have a whole ton of money. So let's, let's consider spending this money on something. Like a castle shipyard. Now let's hold off just for a moment. We'll get more money because if we if we actually get this claim, we're gonna need gold to support it. Oh, there we go. That's a relief. Okay. 
But from now on, whenever somebody wants to... <laughs> wants to plot against against the Duke's son, they're going to jail. somebody. That's one person. Let's go from a plot power standpoint. Oh my gosh. Best one? Oh no, the best one can't possibly be 90%. Hmm. Those guys got thumped. Oh, really? You know, that's really excellent and all. I'm glad that you are so, um, 38%. Lack of power. Really? Let's pause just for a second. That's Bruges, right? Let's appoint my new marshal, this guy, and let's suppress in Bruges, and then let's go like this, and go like this, and imprison. 56% chance. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, now he's safely locked away in my dungeon. Fantastical. into Holland. You're kidding, right? Okay. Okay. We'll stand down now. Alright, so let's, um... Actually, you know what? Let's uh, get to the end of this year and to the autosave, and then we will pause. Here's Anselm. Here's Rickar. <laughs> oh boy. I could just banish him, I can ransom, but he can't even afford it. I can revoke his title. Yeah. Uh, I can execute him. <laughs> uh, let's just leave him in there. Yeah. 
In fact, I kind of want to leave both of them in here. Okay, forget about this for right now. I don't want to leave myself exposed. decide that they want to run, then we will raise these. Oh, we can't raise anybody because this is a bishop guy. Okay, this is the end of the year. Let's finish up beating up these, these Vikings right here, and then we will disband. Oh, I, I think these guys are probably going <laughs> to... Managing a large staff... Our stewardship's up to eight, which is kind of nice. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to chase these guys off. Here's another group of guys coming in. Oh, good. And then, haha, these guys were over here. This is, um, this is the problem, like, it's just, it's constant, you know, whack-a-mole with these guys. Okay, so let's grab our military, and let's disband units. Let's, uh, let's build some stables. Uh, yeah, let's build some sta- uh, some barracks. <coughs> there. Okay, let me just make sure I get to castle fortifications in Zealand. I can afford nothing in Groningen. some castle walls or castle fortifications here. Let's do castle walls there. And then 
and then Loom could do nothing. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. And I think we're going to stop right here uh, for this video, just so we could pick it up here again. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. We've gotten some nice gains back again. Um, and we're hopefully going to get a couple more. But anyway, uh, hopefully that will be next video. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching.